Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 5th of 2023. Well, it is titled a map of the observable universe. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a slice of the universe in images of galaxies and quasars that were taken by the Sloan Digital Sky Survey over the last two decades, measuring out as far as we can toward the edge of the universe. So in this image, we are at the very bottom at that point at the bottom, that would be the location of our galaxy and us. And we're looking out in one slice. Now, while that makes it look like we're at the center, this you would get this same image no matter which galaxy in here you happen to be located. So no matter where you are in the universe, you would essentially see the same thing. And what we see in the first half of the slice is a number of galaxies. Now the first half is the closer regions. And if you look as you go out, it will show on the left the redshift going from point two out to five. So point two, the larger the number here, the larger the redshift and therefore the larger the distance. On the right hand side, we're looking at the look back time, how far back in time we are looking to these distant objects. And there it goes from about 2 billion years in the nearer regions out to 12 billion years at the outer edge there. Now when we look around the top, we see the angle on the sky. So we're looking at about a 90 degree slice on the sky or about a quarter of the way around the sky. Well, that lower lit, lit image out to about a redshift of one or so, those are all galaxies. Now, the shifts that we see, the deeper red colors are those that are moving fastest. So the deeper the red, the faster those are moving away from us and the more distant they are. So from the inner region where it says you are here out to about a redshift value of one, which corresponds to about 7 billion years of look back time. Those are all galaxies. Now as we look further out when we when it starts to turn into the blue again, that is where we're getting into the realm of the quasars. Galaxies as we look back at the largest distances become very hard to see because they are so faint. However, looking at quasars, which are the bright, extremely active centers of galaxies, these can be seen over even greater distances and are seen out as you can see here 12, 12 and a half billion light years going back to the very edge, which would be the edge of the universe at 13.7 light years, the very early beginnings of the universe. So one of the things we start to see with this is really uh, how the universe evolved over time. When we look out in space, we are looking back in time. So when we look at those quasars, we're seeing a little bit about what the universe was like many billions of years ago. When we look in the nearer region, we're seeing what the universe is closer to being today. And if you look at it very early on, there was not a lot of structure to the universe. Everything was relatively random. But as you work your way down toward the point at the center where we are, which means working towards the current time, we see that there start to be a lot more filamentary structures and voids developing within the universe. So everything is condensing into these filaments. And that means that most of the galaxies are located within filamentary structures with great voids in between them. And as things continue, it's likely that that process would continue and that billions of years from now, things would be even more condensed than they are today. So here we get to get a quick look at a large chunk of the universe from today, looking back to the early history of the universe at about a quarter of a, of a region on the sky. So that was our picture of the day for July 5th of 2023. It was titled a map of the observable universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.